Well, kicking off the show tonight, though, Robbie Davies Jr. He is looking to continue his comeback after a surprise defeat 12 months ago. Now returning to the form that saw him capture British and European titles, the Liverpool Super Lightweight is looking to make it a third consecutive win inside the distance when he faces California's former Olympian, Javier Molina. Let's so 10 rounds in the 140 pound division to kick things off here in London. Robbie Davis Jr., a home fighter from Merseyside in the blue trunks and the gold trim. Javier Molina from California, all in black. And, well, both represent a, a must win opponent for each other, Darren, if they were to revive their careers and push on to anything like a, an eliminator at world level. Absolutely, Chris. The pot of gold for the winner here is huge. And on paper, this looks a really good fight. I've been impressed with what I've seen of Molina. Very, very good fighter. Very tough to beat if he's allowed to get into a rhythm. Moves really, really well. So I think it's important for Robbie Davis Jr., who confidence will be higher after destroying Hank Lundy last time out. I think he's got to try and work the body, slow down the movement of Molina. Also, I feel he's got to be busy because watching Molina's fight. I think if I was to choose a trip tonight for him, it is work rate. He can be outworked. So, tempo's important for Robbie Davis Jr., who's looking confident on the front foot. Gets caught with a left hook there. Knees buckled. Yes, yes. Minute 45 on the clock. So just to lose the balance or get something there through and take the legs away. Molina doesn't look small in there. First meaningful shot landed by the American. Digs it into the body, left hook upstairs. I think in the exchanges here, I'm fancying Molina so far. Robert Davis Jr. has the higher knockout percentages, but Molina looking strong, looking dangerous, looking confident right now. And Robbie Davis Jr. creeping forward. Like I said, I think he needs to be busy in this contest, but he can't be greedy, can't be reckless. He's got to be smart when he mounts his attacks. I think the straight right to the body, he's been a good shot. For Robbie Davis Jr. for Molina. Very relaxed, I can say, smooth, moving. But dominantly to his left, so we will be surprised if we start seeing Robert Davis Jr. throw the right hand. I hope that Molina will walk onto one, but so relaxingly on the back foot, Molina. Well, Picking the shots, lovely. And he likes to do what he's done there, just slip and show the left foot counter. And he felt it again, Davis Jr. Molina's always said he punches harder than his record suggests, and a number of his opponents have a testament to that too, but Davis Jr. just manages to get in front of his man with his back to the ropes and keep the arms tight and, and shorten the shots up now. Good work for Davis Jr. on the inside. Yeah, this is where it needs to be, Chris. It needs to be tight at range. It seems as if Molina's in charge. He needs to get up close, try and rough up Molina, work away, work the body, slide in the uppercuts. Oh, another left foot lands. A little bit of blood from the side of the head of Davis Jr. Again, just marauds forward and Molina ties him up. It's good work from Molina on the back foot again, but I love what Robbie's trying to do here. He's trying to rough up Molina. Got to try and break this rhythm of the American. Nice jab again from Robert Davis Jr. Does carry the chin a little high though when he's punching up with that jab. Buster's <laughs> moving back onto the ropes, lets the hands go again, and the California just holds on. Just complains that the heads are coming together to Bob Williams. 15 on the clock in the second. Yeah, I think the straight shots to the body. Good work from Robbie Davis Jr. Every time he goes head hunting. Bar the jab, seems to miss, and that allows Molina to find the counter. So the straight shot down the middle. Take note of Molina's work. He throws that right himself down the middle. He works the levels really, really well. Nice little short left stick again from the American. Nice right uppercut from Robbie Davis Jr. Really trying to force himself onto the American work away. He needs to go close again. Using energy in doing this, though, Davis Jr. trying to push his man back onto the ropes, getting static, but Molina seems comfortable up close, just leans back, takes the sting out of that left hook on the gloves, up the cut through the middle from Davis Jr. And that left hook has been peppering the home fighter throughout the contest, lands again. 
And this is where David Senior wants him. Yeah. He's calling him to be busy. Can't be reckless, but he's got to work away. This is exactly where he wants Molina. Back onto the rope. We've seen how well Molina can move, so this is where Robbie will have success. Better from Molina. Touches the ropes and makes the exit to his left, straight back to the centre of the ring. He wants this fight at arm's length, he wants it at range. Brian Davis Jr. is getting close. You see, every time they come into a clinch of some sort, Robbie Davis Jr. looks like the one who gets the shots off better. On the retreat, it's all Molina. Lovely counter right shot. The ball from Davis Jr. just chopped it down short. Molina took it well, fires back with the left foot. It's fine. What is this? It is uh, contrasting styles. Molina on the back foot, very composing, comfortable. And you've got Robbie Davis Jr. trying to force the action on the front foot. It's all messy in this round. Stop Williams. And a word with Robbie Davis Jr. Stop pushing him down. He's changing directions, offsetting his room, and trying to find his way back to centre ring. Davis Jr. cuts in the space down, and again they come together. Yeah, he's right, Shane. He does like to slow the pace down. Molina he likes to be in control of the pace. The right hand. A bit of a fix. The next have just gone a little bit. They have not necessarily apparent on the screens at home, but certainly at our ringside position here. Davis Jr. felt that and has just gone a little flat. Does Molina know it? Can he set something up here? Oh, oh, good shot. One for him, but he lands a good right hand there. Yeah, it does become harder to make. This is good for Bobby Davis Jr. Start to close the gap more. A bit more aggression on the front foot. Back in Molina onto the rope. Good start. And two really good right hands there. Molina now back it up again, lads. Walks him straight onto a nice counter right hand. Nice steady action really starting to heat up now. Best start of any round so far for Davis Jr. But Molina responding in kind. He's got to do exactly what he's doing now, Robert Davis Jr. Be busy, be busy with the feet as well. Be more aggressive with that front foot. He's got to notice that Molina's predominantly moving to his left to throw that right hand, to hit the step across. Good work, head and body, slipping the uppercuts in, dropping the left to the body. Yeah, it was good work. Robbie Davis Jr. back in, Molina to the ropes. Yep, yeah, needs to be busy. Heard Shane McGuigan call him for it. That is certainly Molina's grip tonight. He's asking for it again, wants him to work away. Shot out of range there, look for the counter from Molina. A bit too sharp on his feet there. Trying to hold on, push him down again. Rescue might have another word with Davis Jr. here. Yeah, that's fair. Right, fair words, stern words from Bob Williams there. It's been a little messy. And at times, he wants them both to the box clean, but of course, stylistically, they've got very different game plans. And which means when they get up close, they quite gel perfectly. That's been some good passages of action so far. Ring IQ. Onto a left hand there, and Davis Jr. is in big trouble. Shane McGuigan has the towel in hand, and he backs into the corner. 30 seconds on the clock, and he's in big trouble here. Bob Williams having a look at it. The legs are gone, and Molina zeroing in here. Yeah, he's hurt, Chris. He really is. Molina not used to being on the front foot. He needs to go through the gears. Trying desperately hard to land a big right hand. Immediately look to. Davis Jr.'s corner and McGuigan had the towel in hand as any good trainer would if they feel their fighter may be on the edge of disaster here, but he's spoiled and smothered his way to the end of the round. And as he walks back, 
You can see he's on unsteady legs there. Big breakthrough that for yeah. Javier Molina. Yeah, it was. It was a good round leading up to that with a movement from Molina. He was very tricky. Where's the bucket? Where's the bucket? And let's see that shot. Full rotation onto the right hand. And the left hand. Yeah, I mean, it's the perfect shot to follow the right hand, the left hook. As long as you've got your right hand up when you throw the left hook, exactly where he was caught with one himself. But yeah. the, the more power, the more poke in the shot come from Molina had full rotation right, in that and he right. done well Robbie Davis sure. to stay on his feet. Molina holding centre ring. shifting momentum the American has been trying to set up the, the perfect counter punch for the last eight rounds. He found it in round number eight. And he just drops in off a, a faint right hand. Davis Jr. acknowledges it. The loose left hand of Bobby Davis Jr. But that can be the difference. He's a good fighter, but you need that tempo. You need those gears. You're right. That's why he's falling short at that top level. Good right hand on the back foot from Molina. Just throws the right hand on the switch there. Briefly, Molina hangs on. And down he goes. Yeah, six. One after the other, the other there, grabbing old Robbie Davis, uh, sorry, Molina, and he just wants to get him off. Robbie Davis Jr. So pushes him down, but Robbie Davis Jr. back on the front foot, trying to force Molina into that neutral corner, he spins off. So just trying to drop into range, giving him Molina to spoil it. Smothering, holding it. Well, I mentioned Bob Williams, he's, he's trying to intervene as little as possible and done a good job officiating the contest in a massive fight and well lovely left hand off uh, right to the body there from Molina to finish the round but well good response for Davis Jr when the instructions were within red to him in that corner he has a just sense got to really put a punctuation mark on this performance in these next couple of rounds in the last round I think yeah they're uh, asking him to change the levels finish with the left foot to the head James Davis Jr really forcing himself onto Molina now working those shots around the body good variation from the Liverpool Molina tripping his cross and he's done the right thing there grabbed hold and managed to get off the ropes into that like blood on top of the head of Molina you see a little bit of frustration on the face of, of Bob Williams as well. He's let them work as much as he, he physically could. Not much more he could have done to, to clean things up in the contest. But again, they just come together. David Schumer try to free that arm work away. Up close. A couple of left hooks land. Molina just keeping the head safe. Just pulls out the range. Giving himself the space. Davis Jr. wants to land a hell of a man. Let's the hands go. And that is the 10 rounds in the books. A tactical affair. Okay, well, David Diamante is ready. Let's hand it over to him. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get a nice round of applause out here for both of these fighters, please. After 10 rounds of action here at the O2, we go to the judges' score totals. Howard Foster, 97 to 94, Molina. Gustavo Padilla, 96-94, Davies. On, Jan Christensen scored this contest 96 to 94 for your winner by split decision. And still, the WBA Continental Super Lightweight Champion, Robbie Davies Jr.